Hello my beautiful friends from the internet, it is Connie over here and today I will be teaching you a very valuable lesson that you have been asking me to teach you and by that I mean one person asked me on the comments and that is enough for me to do any video so today I will be teaching you all how to ash a cigarette all right because I got a comment on my Instagram being like Connie teach us how to ash a cigarette and you know what Hell yeah, you need to know how to do that. It's a very important part of smoking. So today I'm gonna to be having my ashtray, which is a very crucial step of this tutorial. You need an ashtray. Mine has some flowers and ashes on it and a cigarette. So these are your two tools, ashtray, cigarette. Also, you will also need a lighting, something to light your cigarette with, all right? So I'm gonna light it with a clipper. It's whatever, you can light with a match, with a candle, with a stove, with, Anything you want, honestly. So let's light this up and I'll, and I'll teach you how to watch a cigarette. Let's go. All right, this is very important because if you don't ash your cigarette, what's gonna happen is as you are smoking, the ash is gonna start falling on you or whatever, you know, it's gonna fall. And no one wants that, you know, that's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna be teaching you the two ways I use to ash my cigarettes. And yeah, you will definitely need a device either an ashtray or a car ashtray or if you are outside you can ash on the ground you know because ashes are biodegradable actually if you didn't know um, so yeah just however you want to ash just make sure you're not ashing like and in, inside some place and like littering that place you know you already know first step is you need to smoke the cigarette a little bit because if I try to flick this ash off and because I'm quite violent when I'm flicking my ashes I am going through the risk of completely lighting off my cigarette because too much of the ash is gonna fall out. So you need kind of the perfect length of ash. Right about here is where I would think of ashing because my ash is already going a little bit to the side. It's telling me, Connie, I'm gonna fall if you don't ash me soon. So this is about the point where you want to wash your cigarette. So you pick up your ashtray or whatever you're using. And what I do is, I'm gonna try to show you this way, all right? So with my thumb, I do this on the cigarette and then I flick it. I flick it like with some force, all right? So you flick it. See, the movement I do is this. Can I show you? The reason why I'm recording with the front camera of my phone instead of the back is because I need to see what I'm doing if I'm showing you correctly, you know? But I usually do this motion, this, and I flick the cigarette. Can you see that? Oh my god, it's kind of messy. Anyway, if you don't like that method, there's another method you can use, and there's probably a lot more, but I only use two because they are the most convenient in my eyes, you know, as a professional cigarette smoker. I'm not, like, I know, I'm not. Please don't say me in the, don't tell me in the comments, Connie, you're not even a smoker, you smoke one cigarette a day. Let me live my life happily, all right? So you will need to repeat the step until you have a little bit of ash to ash again. I'm actually going to take another hit, which is a little bit risky because at this point, if I take another hit, the ash could fall. So I'm gonna take another hit close to my ashtray. All right, the ash is ready to be ashed. So another method that I use is the index method. So what you do is you tap your cigarette like that and the ash falls. You can rotate it a little bit to see if there's any more ash that needs to fall. And if there is, then it will fall. If there's not, then it will just stay holding on, just like that. So those are the two methods that I use to ash my cigarette. And I think they are very efficient. My favorite is the thumb one where you flick your cigarette with your thumb, just like this. And then you also have the index. See, it's falling a little bit. So those are my two methods on how you would ash a cigarette. Also, it's the end of the day. The lighting is a little bit fading as the video goes on. Also today there was some very heavy rain with some um, dust that was in the air. So look what it did to my back window. All of my windows are like that, but I cleaned the front ones and the, the window shield, I think that's what this is called. But the back window is still full of dust. So, flick method, boom, ash is gone. And it went a little bit to my finger. Can you see it? No, you cannot, anyway. And that, my friends, is how I ash my cigarettes, all right? I only use those two methods. Honestly, I don't know which other method you could use. Wow, I'm getting buzzed, by the way. Hello, buzz, all right. Wow, I missed it, because yesterday I didn't smoke, actually. But today, I was like, you know what? 
I want to smoke. I want to feel the buzz. And guess what I'm feeling? I would say that my preferred method though is the flicking with the thumb. So the motion I just showed you, you just do it and the ash just falls perfectly. It's so beautiful. I love ashing cigarettes. I feel like it's a very satisfying moment of smoking a cigarette is seeing the ash falls fall as you ash it. So very nice. Now there's not, not much more to ash. And if you flick it too hard, you need to be careful because if you flick it too hard, you could make the whole ash fall out. I'm going to try. I mean, see? Now it's kind of weirdly burning and you don't really want that. You just want to flick like carefully, gently, you know? So yeah, now you know how to wash a cigarette. And ashing a cigarette, as I said, is very important because you don't want the ash falling on you. It's very annoying when I'm smoking a cigarette and I'm distracted with whatever I'm saying or if I'm just listening to music, I'm just distracted with the music I'm listening to and the ash just starts building up, building up, building up and then it falls on me and then I'm like, man, I should have paid more attention because I could not have ash on me right now and I do. But yeah, that's how you wash a cigarette. Boom, see, so efficient. This is, I love this method. The thumb flicking is the best one for me because I feel like I don't have much strength with my index finger and sometimes the ash doesn't fall. But when I do it with my thumb, it's like, 100% of the times it will ash correctly. So yeah, when you finish your cigarette, just stub it out, all put out, some smoke entered my nose, that's why I made a weird face. Put it out, completely put out, very beautiful, inside your little ashtray, and then that's how you wash a cigarette and how you put it out. This was a two-in-one tutorial, how to wash and put out a cigarette. Anyway, I just thought this was interesting because, I don't know, there's not many people that teach you how to do these simple things. I know that Jacob has done a video on how to wash a cigarette and I thought it was hilarious because I was like, who doesn't know how to do that? But you know, it's one of those things that if you don't do it sometimes and if you don't see other people doing it, maybe you don't know how you are supposed to do it. Maybe you will smoke your cigarette until the ash starts building up and then it's very annoying, you know? So now you are all set, you know how to do it, perfect, good job, you learned it. And I will be back very soon to teach you some more important things about smoking cigarettes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!